Hi, my name is Maya Tafo. I'm Luzol, Austin Luzol. And you are watching Prime TV. Always watch Prime TV, it's a good one to watch. Keep it locked. Still Prime TV at the Luzo Fashion Art Fusion that went down here in Lekki Phase 1. And I have with me the fantastic host of the evening, one of the people who made the show a huge success, Mr. Tokwe from Freedom Hall. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Good to be here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> great to have you. Thank you for having me. But the show was amazing. The Luzo Fashion Art Fusion show. Yeah. Music, poetry, fashion, networking, good food and music. Yeah. It's a great one. I've had a great time, yeah. honestly. I love what you have on. Tell me about it. Well, it's a fusion, like we said, of African art. You can see the kente. And we want to do Nigerian, African stuff and take it to the rest of the world. That's really the idea. And I'm comfortable. I love it. It's easy. I just really like it. Yeah, is this Luzo? Yeah, it is Luzo. Fantastic. Luzo. All the way. Yeah. Do you always wear Luzo? Um, not always, except for, you know, good fashion. Because you can't always, you know, sometimes you want to be casual, other right. times semi. But this is good for everything. Weddings, events, you know, you can be comfortable in it. Yeah, very comfortable. Yeah. I love the music. I love the music. I love the food and the yeah. poetry and the people. Yeah. I've had a good time, honestly. The poetry was good. The poetry was really good. Wise words, deep words. Wise, deep words. Yeah. Ibori, Elizabeth, Torpedo, Mascal, Moses, Aldo, they were really, really good. And then that Terry chick, she, she killed it. She killed it. Nailed. Yeah. <laughs> she killed it. I'm going to have to meet her after this. Yes, you and me. <laughs> you and you. <laughs> it's Prime TV. Watch Prime. No crime. Not a rhyme. Lovely line. Thank you for your time. Oh, my God. Did you guys get that? Don't walk away. You mama sing me a Thank you. Yeah. Looking good as always. I try. You try. It's your thing. What do you think about the show? I thought it was great. I thought um, the fusion between fashion art and fashion and art was interesting to have spoken word poetry, yeah. you know, music alongside the clothing coming down the runway. I thought that was great. And I mean, what Luzio is doing with what we call typical um, traditional wear and putting like hand painting on top of that, which is very, very delicate work and takes a lot of time. I think that's brilliant. Okay. From a designer's perspective, how would you say the Nigerian fashion industry is doing compared to the global scene? I think in terms of um, fashion in, in um, Nigeria, I think we're doing quite well in terms of creativity and design. And I think that we can rival anywhere in the world. I think the only thing that I lack is the kind of like what I would call the instrument you need to do the fashion proper. You have to create what you want to create, be from fabric to power supply, through to even expertise. So we lack a lot. And secondly, how commercial we can make this be. Because, you know, right for the designers you have stores or have stores having their products. And, you know, every season you bring out something new. And, you know, you have people just joining for your stuff. So it's not about you, it's about your product. I think uh, that's where we are building ourselves towards. But it's a long journey and we'll get there soon, I know. Definitely. We've come a long way. We'll definitely get there. Any words for Luzo going forward? I mean, Luzo, um, he's come out of his shell because he, he likes to hide. So I, I, I'll say, you know, come out a bit more, push up or push yourself, and, you know, the sky's the limit. Yeah. Okay. So much words with love from Mr. Maya Tafo. Thank you for stopping by in Prime. Thank you very much. One of the people who contributed immensely to making the show a success, a PR consultant, Miss Edimi. How are you doing? I'm fine. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? I'm good. Good to see you. Yeah. All dressed in the loose old boyfriend top. Yeah. How does it feel? Lovely. I feel, normally I don't wear boyfriend like clothes, but artistic work looks different from the usual Nigerian designs. So I love it. So 
great job you guys put up put up a good show how does it feel how are you feeling right now i feel very proud and um did it meet your expectations yeah it did it did 100% okay mm-hmm. so what are we expecting from your team next well um this is going to be an annual show so definitely next year we're going to have a bigger an, an even bigger show you look tired yeah in fact i'm exhausted name it i'm like so so tired you have no idea yeah, but your, your makeup is beautiful Thank you very much. Cassie of Mud. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did a great job today. I was so impressed. I mean, look at me. I'm looking like a diva, <laughs> looking gorgeous and everything. So yeah. 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 So what do you think of the show in general? Yeah, I think the show was amazing because I've never been to a show like this before. I mean, fashion meets art. The combination is just awesome. I listened to the guys from backstage. The guy, um, the guy that did um, his, um, his stuff. I think it was poetry he did. Yeah. I think I, I wasn't able to see because I was backstage, but I heard it and it was really beautiful. And I'm at inclined myself, so yeah, I, I'm, I was in love basically. I was, yeah, it was cool. So I saw you wearing the. Um, I didn't even know that he did stuff for ladies. The top you had on. Yeah. Oh, he called it the boyfriend um, shirt because um, it's, it's a guy shirt actually. But the whole idea was for the girlfriend to rock it like, oh, you know, when you go to your man's house in the morning and you wake up and you're wearing his shirt, feeling all sexy and everything. So, yeah, that was the idea behind it. So that was why we wore it. And we looked so you were feeling sexy in it? Definitely. I mean, I, was, I stepped over my boyfriend, so who wouldn't feel sexy? <laughs> <laughs> Are you so confident? How long have you been modeling? Yeah, I've been modeling for, um, I wouldn't say yeah, but I said last year. I've done a couple of jobs, but I'm not frequent because, I mean, I just do my thing. I, yeah, so. We did very well, very well. Yeah, yeah. we try, I try, I try. Yeah. Keep it up, Han. To the poor, to the rich in their mansions, the students in and out of class, politicians, morticians, and physicians. Mightier than guns and swords, I win wars with them with nonviolent tactics. Mine, modus operandi. Like Mahatma Gandhi, or Fawami Ghani Madiba, Pope John Paul II, Martin Luther King, I'm a dreamer, believer, something like Khan. I speak words to break walls and lay bridges like my brother DK, so hearts won't decay. To them I say, breathe fresh air like reward and serene, let the humor enter in, and for minds when they sing, Another person who has contributed immensely to the success of this fashion show today is Diddy, aka the boss lady. As we can see right there. How are you doing, Diddy? I'm fine, thank you, Jennifer. How are you doing? Very well. You look tired, huh? I'm beat. I'm beat. I'm really tired. Oh. <laughs> I've been up since like I haven't slept, I don't think. Oh my God. I've been up all night. How long did it take for all of this to come together? You know what? I could like pretend and lie to you. It took me months, but no, it took me like a second. Like as soon as it came, it was like, I don't do a fashion show, but I don't want to do the regular fashion show. I want to do something different. As soon as it came up with that, I was like, don't worry. Hey, this is how we're going to do it. This is how we're going to package it. This is, what's, this is what the content is going to be. We don't need any other fashion show, any other like um, fashion designer. This is what the content, as soon as I said it, he was like, yeah. yeah, you're getting him. Yeah. I'm getting him. <laughs> so that was it. It took us like, or rather, it took me like two seconds to like come up with the content. As soon as I came up with, and I like told him, he was like on board. So all we had to do was like assemble the team, and I already had a dream team. So as soon as like we all sat down and like we're good, we had the venue, we had like the artist, which is like the Freedom Hall artist, and after that we're good. Tell me what you wanted me to know I love you so much, my baby boy Knowing you who want me to be with you My lover and my joy I love to be with you every day I'm sorry if I can't right now, but I will Love you endlessly, love you truly Talk to me
welcome for the man of the night. The reason we're gathered here tonight, Mr. Austin of Luzo Brand. Thank you very much. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Yes. Tell me, how are you feeling right now? Oh, an exciting evening. Yeah. I am really amazed at the reception and especially the way the people have accepted our innovation in our designs. Yeah. Like we are sold out on all the things we brought on the display and the zoo. Really? Yeah. Amazing. Sold out. Sold out. They're selling. People are buying. That's my all day. No, it's good. It's good. It's great. great. So it's mission accomplished. Mission accomplished, my dear. Great. Thank great, you. Great. Thank you very much. <laughs> so when are you when are you turning out more stuff? No, well, the way it works, um, we're done for the year. That I'll, I'll have my show again the first quarter next year. Okay. I'm not going to have shows twice a year. Don't forget, it's not just fashion. I've created a platform for celebration of fashion and art. Right. You know, so you see a situation where on a yearly basis we'll be promoting the fashion, we'll be promoting music, alternative music, not the mainstream music, yeah. and art. Art in the sense that although fashion is art, like I always say, but the genre of art that is less known, yeah. you know, so we use the known to promote the unknown. Like you see, a lot of our pieces, you see some fabric painting, you see applique, you know, we're getting other arts involved in yeah. fashion so that it, it creates excitement. That was amazing. I loved it. Thank you I very much. It. Thank you very much. Great. It's a step out of the norm. It was really good. No, that's it. That's the whole idea. Yeah. I'm an artist, so we always look for ways to try to experiment, try to move out of the regular. Yeah. You know, it's when you see, because what is fashion? It's style. What is style? is your the you inside coming out you know so the you inside is experimental you want to try something you want to try something yeah. and you'll be surprised accepted like the stuff we did tonight yeah. the acceptance that we got tonight and it is what it does it is going to make us work harder to think more to try to create more when i do culture i culture for men but when i do corporate i culture for both men and women what you saw today we are ladies who were wearing men's clothing okay. we try to create excitement oh you, know, you just see guys doing the wrong way you know? yeah. spice it up with some ladies wearing their boyfriend's clothes so, yeah. so we call it our boyfriend's clothes our boyfriend's okay, clothes so, yeah. nice can i have a piece i love the shirt oh you will definitely have one. Oh, i do it. i know we sold almost everything out let's see whether we still have something okay. or else we we'll get one done for you okay if Great. we don't have any more we get one done for you. Come here. Yay! Yay! I'm gonna represent the brand any day. It's still in captivity. They oppress me and suppress me all oh, because my skin is as black as an ebony tree. So I resort to things like one night stands and bleaching cream to boost my self esteem. At the sound of the word bleak, my heart becomes weak until I hear a still small voice speak saying, look beyond the color of your skin, Ebony. There is a revelation that lies beyond the color of your skin. So I search for this revelation in history books and black history books, but the information and testimonies in these books only give me an outlook on how my skin is the beginning of a higher calling. I now see that the pain, patronization, and victimization was only preparation for how I would use my ebony skin to impact and change this nation. Thank you.
follow, 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 follow. Oh.